Those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Look, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Here's D. Sinks the three-pointer. D's got 56 points in the game. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock. And again for three. And all game long, the threes have been pouring in for him. There is no stopping his shot. And this is already a game he'll never forget. He's trying to make it a game that the world never forgets. Here's D, defended by Prince. Back to Jones. And so it's San Antonio. Easily taking this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Take a look in my eyes, gotta see. Treat it like my yeah, cheeks. Pushing that super cool ain't seen yet. Hey everyone!
everyone, Scott Moak here, PA announcer for your Sacramento Kings. Now last week you narrowed down the field to these two final contenders. It's time to introduce the starting five for your San Antonio Spurs. 6'8", starting it forward, number 10, Jeremy Sohan. Six five at four. Number three, Keldon Johnson. Six five forward, number twenty four, Devin Bussell. Seven four, starting at center. Number one, Victor Wimbayama. Six eight at the point. Number twenty three, Derek. Number twenty three. Another round of applause for you, San Antonio Spurs. Welcome, folks, and what better way to celebrate the end of the week? Friday night basketball on 2K Sports. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight, with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Here are the five for the Lakers. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three. And for San Antonio... Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Vassell and Johnson are the two and the three. And it's D in at the one spot. Well, Grant, something these teams have in common is their phenomenal rebounding ability. Who do you see winning the battle on the boards? You know, it, it could go either way. I mean, frankly, sometimes there's an element of luck on the glass. So we'll just have to see whose way the ball is going tonight. Here's Reeves. Did not look good in their loss against the Spurs the other night. Gets the three ball to go. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's D, guarded by Russell. Left side, Wimbanyama. The Lakers with a rebound. A tough loss coming against San Antonio in their last game. It's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Now here's Johnson. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Lakers. He can't get it to go. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. Johnson with the defensive effort. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Sohan. Sohan gets it to go. Got to do more than this to stop Sohan. Fantastic at powering through the aggressive coverage. Now here's Davis. 14 points for him last game against San Antonio. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Yama against Russell. Here's D. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. Oh, Wimba Yama throws it down. And Wimba Yama can dunk it basically just standing up. You gotta keep him out of the paint. Outside Russell. Pass to James. Wimid Yama against Davis. Clock at six. Here's Hachimura. Oh, rejected by Wimbun Yama. With great mobility in the eight foot wingspan. Yes, eight foot. Wimbun Yama easily wipes that shot away. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Here's D. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Shoots a fadeaway. Hachimura with a rebound. 
The Lakers in the lead. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Here's D. Offensive rebound, Spurs. Basket counts. Wimbanyama's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, terrific follow-through from Wimbanyama, proving he has a good head on his shoulders. And the Lakers call time here. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And a look at the stats for him. Make some noise once again for your Spurs Youth Dance Team. Davis against Wimbanyama. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Johnson. Pass to Sohan. Here's D. Six on the shot clock to the middle. Sohan. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. That's a nice pick. Finds a lane to the boot. Jeremy getting it done. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. Here's D. Checked by James. Johnson passes to D. The shot misses. Some solid defense from James. Loads from 13. The Lakers with another miss. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Deed pass to Wimbanyama, and the shot's good. Wimbanyama's got six. The Lakers have gone only three for nine from the floor. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. On the wing, Reeves. He's guarded by Vassell. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. The Spurs have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. D, the pass to Wambanyama. And a nice finish on the layup. Give him 8. Yeah, this is what everyone wants to see Wimbanyama doing. Dominating on the inside. Pass to Davis. Back to Reeves. Down low. Finished off by Davis. A dominant presence, AD. So smooth in pick and roll situations. Has the agility and the great hands on the catch. Here's D. No points yet. Puts up a three. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Davis, the pass to Russell. Shoots. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. That's what Davis can provide for you. Gave his man such a great look. Here's D. The three is up. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. That's an outstanding first quarter from the field. The Lakers trail. James deciding where to go with it. Inside. Davis misses. San Antonio's gone two of two at the perimeter. Vassell with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Here's D. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. D's got his third basket of the night. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays 
all the way through until they get something they like. Now here's Russell. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Really part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think... And so it's Wimbanyama with it. He brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. That'll be the end of a three-game homestand. Johnson is at the three with Sohan down at the four. Then there's Wimbanyama. Then there's Devin Vassell. And it's D in a point guard. That's the San Antonio five. Russell, that's good. Inside the paint, Russell stays so nimble, helping him get such a high percentage look. Vassell passes to D, fires the three, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Hayes, the pass to Achimura, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Achimura. And a moment to check out who the San Antonio Spurs have coming up. On Sunday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Tuesday, they'll take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. Six to shoot. D, the pass to Wembanyama. Here's D. Hawkins. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. <laughs> and attacking a somewhat helpless defense right now. Just a relentless effort. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comebacks. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. And San Antonio again with a bucket. Perfect from the field this quarter. Gotta wonder how long he can sustain it. Los Angeles has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Russell with the ball. Nine points in the game. Here's Hachimura. To stop the run. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. Not to be denied, Hachimura has a great motor and competes with the best of them. Pass to D. And there's the drive. And stolen by Hayes. Russell against Vassell. Russell, that's good. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. San Antonio has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's D. Hits the trifecta. D's got 20 points. A strong start. And if anything, he's gotten better in the second quarter. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Assistant. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's D. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. 22 points for him. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Pass to Davis. And Davis slams it home. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Here's D, guarded by Russell. Now here's Wimbanyama. Here's Johnson. Here's D. He's got 22. Spurs need to get one up here. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. LeBron James is sustaining a greatness yeah, into his late wrestle. 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. Here's Reeves. 
And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. Vassell outside. Here's D, guarded by Russell. Here's Sohan. And Davis with the block. Using that seven foot six wingspan, Anthony Davis, an elite shot blocker. Pass to Reeves, takes a three. They grab their own miss. They have no answer defensively inside. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. With this break, let's bring up the teams who've been clicking offensively over the last month. Number one, the Spurs. Fifth, the Lakers. And lately, both teams have been shooting the lights out. You know each is hoping that this trend continues moving forward. Here's D. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Here's Reeves. To the wing on the left. And out of bounds, San Antonio will have it. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy. And Darvin was a really tough player, too. He went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Outside Russell, back to Reeves. Outside for Russell. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's foul number two for him. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Pass to D. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Hachimura's got five rebounds in the game. Let's the three fly, and he gets it to fall. Three for eight in this one. And they seem to have found a nice groove here in the second period. Johnson passes to D. Beyond the arc. Sinks it from distance. D's got 28. Ooh, he's been red hot from three-point range. How long will he keep it up? Russell finds Hayes. Right side, Davis. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. Lee gets the bucket. He's got 30 points. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Spurs? Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult for shooters. They are also being so active there with their hands on defense. It's paying off with a lot of steals already tonight. Beasting on defense. First he closes out hard on the shooter, then he attacks the glass. Filthy. Offensive rebound. And it's good. Two points. And the Spurs lead by 18. And you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. He comes in for Sohan. And it's Jones in for Johnson. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Vanderbilt's checked in for Davis. 
LeBron comes in for Hayes. Prince has checked in for Achimura. And it's Dinwiddie in for Reed. San Antonio has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Here's D. He's covered by Dinwiddie. D, the pass to Wimbanyama. Good D by Vanderbilt. For Los Angeles, they've gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Right side, Russell. Back to James. Outside for Russell. Can they get it? It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. You know, the attention LeBron James demands left his teammate open there, and he found him. Jones, the pass to D. From deep. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Now shooting the three ball at almost 60%. They've been blazing this second quarter. Russell, the pass to Dinwiddie. Takes a 13-footer. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Jones. Here's D. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Here's D. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. They're just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Here's Prince, averaging around five points a game. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc to get the rebound. Prince with the bucket. Florian Prince has got five points. Doing a great job of making himself big in the paint. Torian Prince makes a tough shot over the contested hand. Here's D. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Here's D. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Los Angeles has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Russell to pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And Vanderbilt slams it in. And that's a perfect pass by Russell. He really understands where to get his man the ball. Well, Smitty is the ball handler. D'Angelo Russell is a pretty complete player offensively. Yes, he is, B.A. He's very smart with the ball, and he knows how to create shots for others and himself. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. Good. And that basket makes him 8 for 14 for the game. He's on a roll in this quarter. The defense better be careful. Outside Wimbanyama. On the wing, Vassell. To the inside. Here's D. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. He's got 44. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Here's James. San Antonio with a rebound. Coming into this, having knots to win against the Lakers in their last game. Hey, their activity on defense was terrific. It was just full effort at that end of the floor and a bunch of blocks to show for. This was their game plan going in. Make shooters uncomfortable by challenging every possible shot. Russell to pass to James. To the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got three assists tonight. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Back to Jones. Here's D. He's got 44. Connects from downtown. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Pass to Dinwiddie. The three. Vassell with the rebound. I can't believe he hasn't hit a shot all period. Someone else needs to step up and help close the gap. D can't get it to go. Oh, and he got Seven fouled on his way up. Foul. He'll head to the line to shoot Charles two. Bassey. First personal foul. First team foul. 
shooting for Los Angeles. Spencer Dinwiddie at the line for two. They throw good, Dinwiddie. It's the Spurs just dominating this one. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. San Antonio shooting has been unreal. 64% from the floor. Here's who Darvin Ham is starting in the second half. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Hachimura in at the three spot. At the line for two, number 23. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Los Angeles has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Inside, here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Watch out and watch your head when AD goes up. Here's D. Non-stop scoring machine right here. Pulls up. Good! That's another bucket. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Now Russell, pass to James. Back to Russell. Hachimura outside. And here's Davis. Have the space there, but it's offline. Ooh, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. D, the pass to Wembanyama. Yes, it's good. Wimbin has got 12 points. Yeah, the control from Wimby. I mean, this guy is unreal. Pass to Achimura. Oh, rejected by Wimbin Yama. One for four in the second half. Just trying to get into a rhythm. Here's D. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Sohan, pass to D. Hachimura outside. And Davis slams it home. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. The Spurs have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Down low. Here's Wimbanyama. Converts on the jumper. An easy two. Wimbanyama's got four points in the quarter. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Russell to pass to James. Here's Reeves. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. With this pause, let's update you on the best rebounding teams in the NBA over the previous ten games. Number one, the Spurs. And over the last 10 games, this team has brought it to the glass. Everyone is getting involved and trying to help one another secure boards. Pass to D. To the paint. 
Here's Wimbanyama. Russell with the rebound. Los Angeles has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Out to James. Launches a three. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. D, the pass to Sohan. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Russell. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Shots good on the assist by James. James has got four assists in the game. All right, let's get a report from Allie. So, Brian, this is year three with coaches and team branded attire, and you ask them, they're in no rush to go back to the suits. The Heat's Eric Spolster said, quote, That's there's so much less to violation. think about. I used to hate well, those dress shoes. Small. The Pistons' Monty Williams said, quote, none of us can dress. That dry cleaning bill is gone, and you can pack in one bag. Brian. Hey, that sounds pretty good, Allie. Thank you. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. The three, James. The rebound by the Spurs. Wimbanyama's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's D. What an incredible scoring display he's putting on tonight. Back to Wimbanyama. The shot that time not on target. Excellent D there from Davis. Here's James. And the layup is good off the glass. Trying to slow down LeBron is like throwing a water balloon at a freight train. The contact simply doesn't bother him. D, the pass to Sohan. He was all alone on that one. Sohan. Sohan's got eight points. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Outside Davis. Back to Reeves. James inside. A reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. No good with a layup. The struggle is real. Los He's been Angeles. way off with his shot all in the bones. Second personal foul. And breaking down some Second numbers here, the hustle stats for the Spurs. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. Also, lots of hustle on the offensive end. Following shots and creating tons of second chance opportunities. First one falls for him. A top 10 pick in the 2022 draft. Jeremy Sohan is a hustler. Plays extremely hard. Is a coach's dream. And the Spurs making a change here. Bassey's checked in. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Good on both. Now, here is James. It's stolen. Here's Bassey. Boom! He jams it straight down. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Here's Davis. And it's blocked. And they're able to recover. Six on the shot clock. Vanderbilt, the pass to Jane. And finished Anthony off by Davis. Davis. That's inexcusable defense. You must put a body on Davis, or you will pay for it. 
Here's Bassey. Checked by Davis. Here's D. Non-stop scoring machine right here. Johnson with a bucket. Quick shooting from Johnson. Getting the drop on the defense. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. James outside. Pass to Vanderbilt. Now Achimura, covered by Johnson. Clock at six. And he's going for the lob! And finished off by Davis. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Here's D. And here's Johnson. Pass to D. Launches it. And again for three. Man, he's really launching him from outside the arc. He is so locked in, feeling confident in his three-point shot tonight. Here's James. That one drops for him. James has got four points this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Down low. Here's Johnson. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Rui Hachimura, second personal foul. Prince has checked in for the Lakers. Then when he comes in for LeBron. At the line for San Antonio, Keldon Johnson. Changes here for the Lakers. LeBron, he's checked in for Dinwiddie. And Achimura has subbed in for Reed. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. And so Davis will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. And it's Bassey in at the five. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Smitty, it's 6'8 with your ball handling ability. You were known for your versatility in your playing days. I was, B.A. I was drafted as a point guard, but I've probably been all for in today's NBA. It's positionless basketball nowadays for the NBA. Everybody's skilled to handle and shoot the three. Reddish has checked in for the Lakers. Vincent comes in for Vanderbilt. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality, and Prince has that. For Los Angeles, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. Here's Vincent driving inside, and the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. It's fun for us to sit back and watch him go to work. But that's our job, not the defenses. They left him too open on that play. Over to the wing. Here's D. Fires it. And that one off the back of the rim and in. D's got 58. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Vincent. They get it again. Comes up empty down low. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's D. It's hauled in by Reddish. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Vincent can't hit. San Antonio's gone 1 of 2 from deep in this quarter. Wesley, that's good. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Knocks it loose. Here's D. Unloads from 13. And they're on the Spurs with another bucket. And for the Lakers, they're shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. Here's James. What a finish in traffic! My goodness! What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. Out to the wing. Pass to D. And with a
with expansion whispers continuing to grow, Smitty. If it happens, you figure there would have to be some realignment. Yes, B.A. Most likely a team would move to the east. Presents a chance for the NBA to change the layout of the league. Might add a division and find ways to cut down on travel. Osman, he's checked in for Champagny. Hayes is checked in for Los Angeles. Dinwiddie comes in for Reddish. And here's James. Pass to Hayes. Now here's Dinwiddie. And that Spencer one's good. Dinwiddie. Not just selling Assistant. for something along the perimeter. Jackson Excellent job. For San Antonio, they've gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Here's D. There's the three. Oh, another one falls. Oh, make that 61 points. Everything is going his way right now. And James gets it to go. James has got 10 points in just the second half. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. Good work there as it goes. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And out of bounds, San Antonio will have it. And even losing big, you have to maintain composure if you want to avoid embarrassment. Woods checked in for Vincent. Here's D. The three-pointer off the mark. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Prince, the pass to James. The rebound by the Spurs. Bassey's got five rebounds tonight. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And, Smitty, it seemed like the NBA's age minimum would go back to 18. Why do you think it didn't happen in the latest CBA? You know, B.I., I'm with you. I thought it would go back to 18, but I think the league looked at it and had these guys play one year for some kind of post-high school, whether it's college or some other leagues. I think that was the mindset. Russell's checked in for James. Here's D. Good! Another from three. All game long, the threes have been pouring in for him. There is nothing stopping his shot. And you know, this is already a game he'll never forget. He's trying to make it a game the world never forgets. Pass to Wesley. Here's D. Offline with a three. And so Prince will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. A shot to stop the run, and it's rejected. Mamu Kalashvili passes to D. Here's Bassey. Off target at the rim. And for the Lakers, they're shooting around 41%. Dinwiddie. That falls. Spencer nice Dinwiddie. assist by Russell. Assisted by Russell's got his fourth DeAndre assist with that last one. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Here's D. Uses the glass on the layup. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Outside Russell. The three is up. Bassey pulls it in. Bassey's got rebound number eight now. Here's D. And again. And that's seven. He is unconscious. Blake, he has really come into this second half on an absolute tear. Really impressive effort from him so far. Outside Russell. Pass to Hayes. Here's Prince. Shot clock at five. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. When you're trying to cut into a lead, you can't afford that kind of mistake. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Spurs. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. 
I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for D. Shoulder and the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. Here's D. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Here's D. Connects again from distance. The parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties him for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. Good on the bucket. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And again for three. Splashes home another three, and he moves into second place with that make. Well, you got to think that every time he releases the ball from deep, it's going in. He just keeps raining down the threes. It's Dinwiddie on the wing. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're in front. Nine seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what do you think? Interesting timeout with this game mostly in the bag. In my opinion, I think they're looking to make a substitution. But let's see out of the timeout. player of the game this is special we are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight he is like levels above everyone else on the floor something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight he's just come out and he has run wild Here's D. The three. Good! Another from three. And of course it falls for him. And that three pushing him into the record books. He is now tied for the most threes in a game. An incredible shooting night for him on a night we'll never forget. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really...
it's the American dream. Riding around the streets, moving my mama's minivan, and we just can't wait for Saturday. Pay the keys at church, my daddy the pastor, but I want that that girl that's gonna take my faith away. So young, but living like this world's ending next week. I wonder if that girl gonna kiss me next week. Alone in the button-down shirts, gon' poly out me. I don't hear no rings, but I'm calling in case you call me, girl. I put on some cologne for you, so let's not waste it. I had a dream that me and you were in your room, but we were doing things, but we just had each other drinking avocado shake. I grew up feeling like I gotta be the hero in the world that's full of super villains, but I swear you made me wanna make I'm telling myself I'm better Head propelling my mental first I know you want peace instead of me getting jealous Teasing an extra You chewing my thoughts like extra Fluid my tempo, I don't like stopping Flips, I reveal my cap, new era Wanna be honest with you Girl, I know you caught my issues Pearls on Madonna fit you I visualize my whole life to fit you In it somehow, so the problem with you Isn't what you like, but what comes within you Building on what could fix you Tell me what the issue is wrong and a little bit soft i get it talk with a vision beat pause let's get it walk in a better beach not like venice songs had you bit a week like this too real don't press pause let's talk about feelings talk talk endless take a fresh breath take a we gon' take off don't let me go spin it 